Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a delicious creamy dessert with butternut squash. Okay, you want to have a good high-speed blender or a food processor available to you. Now I have two cups of cooked butternut squash. These are cubes and they were steamed. And some of it is mashed in here and some of it is just cubes. Just You want roughly two cups of cooked butternut squash. To that we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now if you don't want to use maple syrup you could add some fresh or some dried dates to it. A medjool dates would be good, two, three, four, whatever you want. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of this maple syrup here. You could use honey, two, whatever, whatever you want. You could even use raisins, something like that. Now I'm going to add a mixture here of one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I have some coconut milk. You can add whatever milk of choice to make this creamy. And I've got a cup here set aside. I'm going to blend a little bit at a time and go up to that one cup. Uh, it just depends upon how thick you want this to be. But I'm going to blend this up and show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'm going to tell you exactly how much milk I used along the way. Here's our finished dessert. Now I'm making this for me and my husband. He likes things a little sweeter than I do so I wound up adding a third tablespoon of maple syrup to this and again you could use date sugar or dates in there, maple syrup, honey, molasses, raisins, whatever you want as a sweetener. I used three-fourths cup of the coconut milk. If you want it thicker, you would add maybe just a half of a cup of milk of choice. Or if you want it thinner, you could go with up to a cup, but it's, it's um, spoonable as it is, and it's kind of halfway between a smoothie and a pudding, somewhere in there. So you can be your judge as far as how much you want, but it's very reminiscent uh, to me of pumpkin pie. So I wanted to have something like that for dessert. Give this a try sometime. The recipe is below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.